Jose Abreu signs with the Astros. Face value, when you saw that signing, everyone was like, whoa. That makes a ton of sense. Yuli Gurriel out the door to Miami. Yuli Gurriel is actually playing a little bit better than Jose Abreu if you look at the numbers. But I can't deny the fact that the track record's too good with him. And when I watch his ABs right now, could he be searching a little bit, a little anxiety, trying to prove himself to a new team? I don't care who you are, pillar of a franchise or the 26th man. When you walk in to a new ball club, new guys, you want to impress them. He's gotten off to a slow start, but again, let's dive in on Jose Abreu, see if we can figure some things out. Dr. D. Rose style. So there he was, White Sox, right? Rookie of the year when he came over, won an MVP. You could pretty much chalk up 33 and north of 100 RBIs every year. And the White Sox let him walk, which I thought was interesting. And Houston ends up signing him. So pause this real quick. Bring up the first board. Okay, take a look at this. Splint since 2022. Jose Abreu, games, right? Look at the average, fine. The home runs have disappeared. It's almost like he's gotten disconnected from his body. Slugs way down, weighted runs created plus. 100, your average big leaguer. He's not your average big leaguer. Bring up the hard hit rate board. Just a ton of weak contact. Hard hit percentage. Take a look at it right here. 96 percentile in 2020. In 2023, 38.5, 46 percentile. He's not even hitting the ball as hard as half of the big leaguers in the game. So that's concerning. He's got to be doing something at the plate. So let's dive in a little bit. Weak contact right there. I know it's a nasty slider down and away, but you're going to see a little bit out front. You're going to see a little bit jammed. He's searching. And he's chasing a little bit outside the zone, not something he normally did. Slider, I'm a little out front, 0-1. Keep it rolling. This is what scares me, run that back. Top of the first inning, I always take the, the bug into consideration. 1-0 count right here, you're all in on a piece of cheese. The game's just getting started, fans are filing in, getting used to it, run this. You should be all over this. And it looks like he barreled that. And Connor Joe's moving in on that baseball. Middle of the plate, almost trying to pull everything in that situation. Not a concerted effort to drive the ball the other way. And here's his last home Ooh. run in a White Sox uniform, like Roflo said, 42 games ago. So if you're going to play in the big leagues, I know that Jose Abreu's a little bit differently. That has to think a little bit differently. When you hit 3-4 in a lineup, and if you watch, pause this real quick, and if you watch a game on a nightly basis, the, the off-speed, the breaking stuff, it's 50-50 split. You can't just sit on heater and heater count all the time, especially if you're Jose Abreu. But it does appear to me, when you watch guys struggle, are they handling the fastball? Bring up the next board, S-Rod. And he's not doing that. From 2014 to 2020, 327 on the heater, a 560 slug. If you're going to hit in the big leagues with this exploding off-speed stuff, you better be able to hit a bullet coming down right down Broadway. August of, of 2022, he was still at 292. And then I don't know. I don't know. Maybe August 5th, he tweaked something. Maybe some damaged goods in there he's not, not letting you in on. But in 2023, he's hitting 229 with a 250 off the heater. That's not Jose Abreu. So let's get back into it. Let's see if we could side angle him. Because this is a guy that, for me, that's Brady Singer, 92 sinker, top of the zone. I'm going oppo. He should not be cheating at anything. This is a huge man who drives the ball the other way. Was he Check more, it out. Uh, was he more upright? There, we're going to get into some side angles. He does some things a little bit interesting for me. His top hand on the bat does not play a major role, which is interesting because for a lot of guys, at some point, this has got to get engaged. So once we get to this side angle right here, I want to take a look at some things. Run it. Run that back. 
You hear the great ones talk about, pause this, pause it. Talk about being connected, staying connected. They want this arm, this arm, this right butt cheek, the inside of this back leg. They want it all coming at the same time. It's boom. It's not, oh, this is going, then I'm throwing this. It's all connected. I'm loaded up and I want to boom here. And watch him go to right center. Watch him. Everything's connected. Run it. He's making point of contact. He's tall and it's boom. I am fully engaged. Watch him in Houston right now. Run it. A lot of disconnect in what he's trying to do. Run that back real quick. Pause it. Pause it. So when I watch Jose Abreu, at no point He's real light with this top hand, right? He's here, and he almost flicks the ball out the other way. A lot of guys with this top hand, at some point when they load up, when they load up, this gets engaged to like deliver a blow. Sammy Sosa used to talk about all the time, steering wheel, power. So he's not a guy that puts the power cord on the baseball a ton for me. Also something that's interesting. Little bit more coil. I don't know if we're catching this at the wrong time. Run this real quick. Run it all the way back to the beginning. Now get out of here. Come on. Clean frame. Boom. Go. Run it. Pause. Hmm. Another guy that's stacking just a little bit more. Looks like he's stacking. You're seeing Jordan Alvarez almost tweak it. Like get into that back hip a little bit more. Right here a little bit more 50-50 stale. But I just see this disconnect. This is getting out front, and it's almost I'm just using my hands. Run it. If I'm Jose Abreu's teammate today, we're going in the cage. We're putting a curveball machine on, and we are trying to get connected on our backside. I need him to get on his back rear end again, mm. and this has got to be connected. He's got to hit from back here. This has got to stay. It can't be this goes, and I'm just going to play with my hands. So your prescription is curveball machine and backside connection. Yes.